Good morning. It's Monday, November 23rd, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Gospel Unchained, and our scripture is 2 Timothy chapter 2. Paul writes, Always remember that Jesus Christ, a descendant of King David, was raised from the dead. This is the good news I preach. And because I preach this good news, I am suffering and have been chained like a criminal. But the word of God cannot be chained, so I am willing to endure anything if it will bring salvation and eternal glory in Christ Jesus to those God has chosen. Paul the Apostle was chained like a common criminal, but he gladly adds the gospel of Jesus Christ can never be imprisoned. And so it is. There is nothing about truth that can truly be silenced. And the center of that truth, the good news of Jesus Christ, is that he was raised from the dead. Even a grave cannot hold back truth. When this truth gripped Paul, he became willing to endure the harshest of conditions and treatment to proclaim it. Paul's list of what he had to endure to continue telling people about the resurrected Jesus is a grueling testament of the strength God continually gave him. Paul very often had little food or the means to buy it. He was beaten with rods by the religious leaders. He suffered three different shipwrecks. He was whipped five times for preaching, 39 lashes each. He was stoned and left for dead. He endured violent river upheavals that threatened. He endured sleepless nights, and he was also robbed on the road more than once. On the other side of all that hardship, Paul would rather still talk about how kind Christ had been to him and the supremacy of the kingdom of God and how it is our glorious task to proclaim that kingdom with everything we've got. If you made it to church yesterday, you probably drove in an automobile that has a heater for when you're cold and an air conditioner when it's hot. You rode. You didn't hoof it three miles. You probably showered one can only hope, and the water was warmed by an electric or gas heater. You might have dumped something from the freezer into the crock pot so it'd be ready when you got home from church. Or you may have ridden in that heated air-conditioned car to a restaurant that has the banana pudding you like so well. In all of that, there is little suffering for the unchained gospel. Now, don't get me wrong here, I'm not advocating for going on the hunt for some persecution so you can have a list like Paul's. I'm just pointing out that for the most of us, our Sundays are relatively ho-hum. We live in comfort compared to what Paul endured to proclaim Jesus resurrected. And with that as our focus, which Paul also said to always remember, we're somewhat humbled by the ease we have and the corresponding ineffectiveness we exhibit in sharing that gospel. When Jesus told his disciples what their job would be, going into all the world to preach the good news, baptizing and making disciples of many, Jesus never mentioned crockpots or other comfort-giving conveniences. Yet, we tend to have a focus these days on convenience, preference, and our rights to choose. Sometimes, I think all these conveniences and choices have not led to discipleship, but disablement. For you today, Jesus' offer has always been to pick up our cross and follow him. Anywhere you read in God's word, it's just that, an offer. To accept, we must choose to do the picking up of that cross, but it's hard to reach from the easy chair. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.